Let us introduce the Crystal Light Booster Prototype Version 2. This device is powered by a USB port, and able to generate standalone the newly discovered static scale or field. This new device design is developed with the intention, to have a lightweight, all-in-one prototype. We included a lot of recent research results while the development process. We intend to use this device to explore how the different modes should be utilized and combined in order to get the best healing, and spiritual enhancement results. The newly developed modules, and the traditional FRD plate combination make this device an all-in-one prototype. We successfully merged three different systems, the static scale or field driver module, the crystal light booster module, and the traditional FRD plate. This prototype is equipped with a switch button, which allows switching between the different emission modes. We explored that a moderate constant DC current on the quantum coil design has a positive impact on the human body. This type of field characteristics we named as static scale or field. The active scale or field mode means the user can connect the prototype to a phone or an amplifier, and drive the FRD plate with the desired frequency. This can be done by using the scale or field generator application, or any other audio input sources, such as music or any type of function generator. Let us explain the newly discovered non-vibrational static field. This type of energy provides a constant energy flow, due to the continuous DC current which is provided by the integrated microcontroller. This is how the static scale or field looks like. It does have a linear directional energy emission and does not have a frequency. This type of static field appears to be easier to absorb by the human body, especially while sleeping. Also, the field does not trigger specific parts of the human body based on an input frequency, instead adds an overall gentle constant waterfall type of energy. In comparison, this is how the active scalar field looks like. The active field does have a vibrational characteristic based on the input signal. Thanks for watching.